Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Review, episode number 258, for Friday, December 4th, 2009. And the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Mother. Uh, Mother is directed by the Korean director Jun Ho Bong, who I, I reviewed his other film, The Host, um, a little while ago. I, I don't really know what episode it is, but it's this massive monster movie. It was it was slightly um, got a slight amount of of popularity over here in the states. Uh, but he also made a few other ones. I think there's one called Memories of Murder. I believe that's what it's called, which is ironic because it could almost work for this film as well. Uh, but Mother is the official uh, selection for uh, what Korea is submitting as, as far as their films for Academy Award consideration for foreign film. Um, this film is about a boy and his mother. The boy is about, uh, you know, early to mid-twenties, perhaps. Uh, he's, he's mentally challenged. You're not really sure what's wrong with him. But uh, a murder happens. This, this girl is murdered. He's the prime suspect, and he gets, you know, taken to prison. The mother does not believe that, that her son would do this, so she sets out to find the truth um, and, and discovers some shocking things, I would say, along the way. Um, I think it's, it would be really easy for mother to go in a cliched, conventional, uh, uncovering the mystery of these types of murders sort of things, but it doesn't, and I, I applaud it thoroughly for that. Uh, I, I think the, the woman who plays the mother in this film, I'm not sure what her name is, I apologize for that, but she is exceptional. She has to go through such a range of emotions of, of you know, playing detective and being sly and sneaky to, to painful crying and just sadness for her son, to sympathy, to anger, just a whole spectrum of emotions that she goes through. And she does it so seamlessly that it's it's... It's absolute perfection in my eyes. Um, I know she's not going to get nominated for anything, but it's it's incredible. Um, the film is a little slow in the first hour, I think, and and it's a, it's an over two hour movie. I think it's about two hours and ten minutes, maybe. Um, and I think it might be a little too slow for some people, the build up and the setup and everything. But I do firmly believe that the last hour to this film is a humongous payoff for me personally. Um, I, I would consider this film in the same sense of Let the Right One In, how Let the Right One In has such a slow, slow building pace, but the final scene in Let the Right One In is so perfect that it's, it's totally worth everything that you go through. Um, so my, my only real complaint about the film is that it is very slow paced for me in the beginning, and I wish it would have been cut down a little bit. Um, there are a lot of very nice artistic choices that I think June Hobang uses, especially in the opening sequence, which is basically uh, the mother walking through this field of wheat, and she gets to the camera, and she kind of stops, this music starts playing, and she starts just kind of dancing. It's very weird dancing, but it, it, and it goes on for like three minutes. And at first, I was like, what, huh? what am I seeing here? By the end of the film, I think it all makes sense. I think the ending of this film is, is kind of heartbreaking. It's, 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 um... You know, I, I think uh, the inner DVD pattern described it as dis disturbing, and I think I understand what he means by that. It doesn't really disturb me, but I, I think it's, it says a lot without really saying anything specifically to you. Um, it, I liked it far more than be far better, excuse me, than the host, uh, which for me is just a very well-made monster movie. I mean, it has a lot of family issue stuff, but it's just a well-made monster movie. This film has so many deep-rooted issues, I think, that it, it should really be checked out. Um, I give Mother a 4.5 out of 5. I've been giving out a lot of those lately, but they've been very deserving, I would say. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with a review of Up in the Air. Not entirely certain, but hopefully. Stay tuned.